DIY project for our 12 DIY days of Christmas. Uh, I'm going to make a rice bag and these are used for either cold therapy, you can put them in the freezer because the rice does not freeze and you can use them as cold therapy or you can put them in the microwave and use them as a heating pad or a warming pad. You want to make sure that you use cotton, 100% cotton, Synthetic fibers do have a tendency to melt in the microwave, so we want to be safe. You want to cut out two pieces, one for the inside, one for the outside, 10 and a half by 21 inches, and sorry about that, my, I've got fuzzies from my last project. <laughs> what we want to do is for both pieces, we just want to fold them on itself and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sewing here, make my corner go down the long end and then close it. I want to leave an opening that I can turn it inside out and you want to do both uh, inside and outside. And now that they're both sewn, you can see I've sewn along, I've left this edge open. You want to trim your seams, which I've done, and you also want to trim your corner. You want to get close, and this way it makes for a nice corner when you turn it. So you want to trim those corners, you want to turn them and iron them. Once I had done it, I realized that it's probably better to leave the entire uh, short end open. Uh, it's easier to uh, reverse them and get your nice square corners. It's also going to be easier to fill up the rice bag and to put this, the inside, inside, the outside. And I also wanted to show you, when I sew, although they're both the same size, I make my seams, I bring them in on the inside one, just so it's going to be easier to slip that into the bag. And what I've done is in ironing, I've ironed under this seam so it will be easier to close. So now we want to take our inside bag and we want to fill it with four cups of rice. I wanted to show you approximately what it should look like. So you have a good amount of space here. We're going to sew this closed. And once it spreads out, it's pretty full, but you want it to have room to be able to move. Okay, so next I'm gonna sew this closed and then we're going to stuff the outside. And just as an added Guard. What I did was I sewed it twice. I went down one side, flipped it around, and came back up. I want to make sure that that uh, rice does not escape. Trim up your threads. And now you want to put this inside. Once you have the bags together, you want to line up the top. Make sure there's no rice up here. And you want to top stitch this closed, catching the inside. And again, I did it twice. I want to make sure it's really secure and they're all in there. Now I'm going to hold on and move the rice to the bottom and I'm going to top stitch at the bottom. Make sure there's no rice. I can feel some rice in there and I'm just going to move that down. In this way that will hold the inside bag to the outside bag. And again, on this side, I doubled it. I like to double the seams just to be careful. We don't want any rice falling out. And you want to trim, and there you go. It's all set. 
And again, you can use that in the microwave to keep you warm and in the freezer for cold therapy. It's a great little tool. Happy holidays, everyone.